Good morning, everybody. Hi, everyone. Hey, Cheryl. Yes, Debbie. Look at what I have today. <gasps> you have a campfire. Yeah, aren't you cold? We got to warm up. <laughs> <laughs> so when I was little, we used to go camping sometimes. Mm -hmm. And one of our favorite things to do was to sit around a campfire like this and tell ghost stories. Now, I know ghosts aren't real and whatever, but sometimes the stories were so scary, I had a hard time sleeping at night. Ghost stories are scary. Mm -hmm. Now, this may seem like a strange way to begin our children's moment, but even in Bible times, some people believed in ghosts and they were afraid of them. Yeah. So we'd like to give you an example from the Bible. Okay, so it starts with two guys who are walking down a road. They're traveling to a town called Emmaus. You might have heard of it. I have. Yeah. So they're, they're walking and talking about how sad they are, about Jesus' death and things like that. And then all of a sudden, a man appeared. Right? And he just starts walking with them. And, well, they didn't even realize, but it was Jesus. Oh, my goodness. I know. Crazy, right? That they just didn't even realize it. <laughs> but then Jesus revealed himself to them. And then they went back and found Jesus' disciples and told them all about it. That is awesome. Mm -hmm. Well, as they told the disciples that they'd seen Jesus, he suddenly appeared among them. Whoa. So all of them got to see Jesus. And he said to them, peace be with you. Knowing that Jesus had died, the disciples thought he was a ghost. <gasps> and they were terrified. Anyway, that's what the Bible says. I bet. Let's, let's do a scary face. Okay. <laughs> So Jesus asked them, why are you troubled and why do doubts arise in your hearts? Look at my hands. Look at my feet. You can see that it's really me. Touch me. Make sure that I am not a ghost. I'm not a ghost, I promise. You're not. Because ghosts don't have bodies, but each of you see that I do. Still, the disciples weren't sure what to think. So Jesus asked them for something to eat. As he ate some fish, they're watching him. And it showed them that he was not a ghost because ghosts don't eat food. Mm -hmm. So the disciples realized that Jesus had come back to life and they were so happy. Oh, I bet for sure. So after Jesus returned back to heaven, those same disciples went all over the world telling everybody that they met all about Jesus' crucifixion, his death, his resurrection. I mean, they just couldn't shop, stop sharing this great news with everybody. So John chapter 20, verse 29 says, Jesus replied, Do you believe because you see me? Happy are those who don't see and yet believe. Isn't that cool? That's a good scripture. And that brings us to our big idea <gasps> this week. Can I do the drum roll? Yes. I can meet with Jesus every day. Yay! That just goes hand in hand with that scripture. It sure does. Let's pray, you guys. Dear God, thank you for our risen Savior, Jesus. Help us to be like his disciples and keep telling the world that Jesus is alive. Amen. Amen. Have a great week, everybody. Bye, everyone.